As the numbers of cases continue to grow, so do concerns about people trying to prevent being infected. That's causing a run of basic needs items in many stores, leading to price gouging. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasha tells us what's being done to control that. Across the country, store shelves which used to contain things like hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes are empty. One woman says she went to six stores looking for hand sanitizer, and when she found it, discovered it was at a price that she didn't expect. When I wanted to pay, she said $50. And it's not just in stores. Availability of items online is also limited. In the last two months, sales of virus protection products have skyrocketed up 817 percent. Now, North Carolina's attorney general put out an Instagram warning about bad actors trying to scam and price gouge as a result of the COVID-19 situation. Watch out for people promising miracle cures or selling you some product that will protect you and your family at an inflated price. And those inflated prices are out there. I went online to Amazon and found a box of wipes for $89 hand sanitizer for $79, and a 35-count container of wipes for $86. You can tell they're inflated prices because I found this 75-count container of wipes for $4.99 adjacent to a similar container of wipes listed at $42, supposedly price cut from $61. So I sent this email to Amazon asking about price gouging. The company told me it's blocking or removing thousands of offers where it says bad actors are attempting to artificially raise prices on basic need products during a global health crisis. Now, North Carolina does have a price gouging law, but it's only enacted when a state of emergency is in effect, like during a hurricane. To combat shortages, some stores are limiting purchases of certain items, and companies like Purell, which makes the hand sanitizer says it's ramping up production to meet demand. And remember, there's a lag time between production of items like this and the time it actually hits the store shelves. So even if your store isn't limiting your purchases, you might want to self-regulate to make sure there's enough for everyone. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.